Hey everybody, this is Praxis. Today's a big day here because we had our final, last, ultimate, I don't know if there's any other synonyms there. We had our final inspection for the house in terms of its energy performance. It's not really surprising that we passed because, you know, I mean, the house is covered in solar panels and super well insulated and, you know, all this kind of stuff. But I was a little bit nervous because, you know, the way regulations are written by lobbyists and I wasn't sure. It's like, this is like, an incredibly wonderful house in terms of uh, energy performance, but like there'd be some weird loophole where it would, you know, fail in some way, but we didn't. I'm very excited about that. Uh, the other thing I'm excited about is that today I'm working on putting in the, uh, uh, the window sills uh, underneath all these windows, and then uh, next will be upstairs. I made these yesterday. Uh, I didn't do document it because I was just kind of, uh, you know, busy. Uh, it's just a two by three. Two by three prices have come way down. Well, lumber prices have come way down. These used to be like, they used to be way cheaper, but then they were like $5.30, and these last ones that I just got were $3.50, so they're almost half the price of what they were at their peak, uh, and they're really nice ones, too. Uh, I've uh, got them uh, stained uh, this color to kind of match all the, uh, the beams in the house, where I stained this kind of reddish-brown color, and I uh, chopped them. Uh, with this kind of uh, profile, so they've got this little notch, and this uh, sits right up on the windowsill. Uh, I'm cutting them at a 45 degree angle to kind of uh, interlock them with each other, and I want to show you something that I, I learned the other day, uh, and this is kind of like, duh, I think anybody who's into carpentry would already know this, but um, I just learned it the other day from my dad. Uh, this is not exactly the right tool for it, but um, if you buy what's called a carpenter square, or maybe a carpenter rule, or, I don't know, it's kind of a uh, triangular shaped device. Uh, but this thing works for it. Uh, what you can do is you can uh, kind of put this on the side of uh, the piece of wood that you're cutting and not have to draw a line, and you can just use the edge of it to guide your saw, and you can make a really, really clean cut. I'm just going to kind of demo it right here. It would be nice if I could lock this thing down, but here we go. There you go. I like it because it's just it's a perfectly clean cut that you get there. I built four houses and now I'm, I'm only learning about this now. Let's go in and we'll see what's going on on the inside because we've got some other stuff prepped for the, uh, the window sills inside. Okay, how do I hold a camera and a board at the same time and open doors? I don't. That's the answer. I don't. Got to put something down. Okay, here we go. Moving in, putting more things down. I bought some more of these shelving boards because lumber prices were so low. These are like uh, one foot wide ones. And I kind of treated myself to those because it's just so much more economical to buy lumber now. All right, so we're coming in. You can see our house is kind of ripped apart. We got all the plants on the table here. And I've already got one in place. And here's where the next one is going. So I've got the uh, 45 degree cut on both ends. I did the first one before I ran the camera, and it's just going to lock right in there. And uh, the reason I did a 45 degree cut is this will allow me to put kind of a, a nail or a screw between the two. I think I'll also glue them as I put them in. And uh, this sticks up an inch above the, uh, uh, the present sill, and I've got some, some metal lath in there. I'll show you just an example of that. Here's a piece of it. We got this metal lath in there, and the reason for that is we're going to be pouring concrete. These are going to be concrete sills. I, I bought one bag of concrete, and I'll see how many window sills I can get out of one bag. Um, and the idea is just kind of have it flush with this, so it'll be a nice concrete sill going onto a, a wooden edge, and that'll kind of finish it off. So uh, I'm excited about that, getting that done, getting the energy inspection done. And um, I'm not going to do the concrete today. I'm just going to get the wood in, and then one day we'll do the concrete. That'll be a separate video. That's it. Thanks for watching.